this is Jenna Willis. Hello. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of her because she's going to be in the web series that we're putting on the main channel. Okay, so we're gonna be talking all about red hair, the top 10 facts about red hair. Red hair is caused by a series of mutations in the MC1R, which stands for melanocortin-1 receptor, a gene located on chromosome 16. Because it's a recessive trait, it must be inherited from both parents for the hair to be red. Yes, thank you, mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And because of this genetic phenomenon, far more people carry the mutation than people who actually have red hair. In Scotland, approximately 13% of the population are redheads, although up to 40% carry at least one mutation. The 45th parallel is a natural boundary for red hair. Because under the 45th parallel, <laughs> the UV rays become so strong that it's no longer an advantage to have fair skin. In the northern latitudes where sunlight is sparse, lighter skin has an advantage as lighter skin improves the ability to absorb light and produce vitamin D. Ooh, I need that. Which also means redheads are more susceptible to sunburn. This is all making sense. I fry. Whoa! Wait a second. This doesn't. The frequency of red hair is highest in Ireland at 10 to 30 percent, followed by Scotland at 10 to 25 percent, followed again by Wales at 10 to 15 percent. The distribution matches very well to ancient Celtic and dramatic civilizations. Dramatic lands, yeah. Although red hair is so awesome, redheads have less hair on their head. What? Yeah. It's so full and thick looking. Well. But okay, yeah. There's a reason why. Oh, well here we go. Yeah. In terms of total numbers of hairs on your head, redheads have 90,000 strands, where blondes have approximately 110,000, mm. and brunettes have 140,000 strands. While they may have less hairs, the hair strand is much thicker, leading to an appearance of thicker, uh, fuller hair. This apparently makes it easier to style. Is that true? That's oh. true. Uh, so having red hair saves time on getting ready time. Redheads don't go gray. I know, the red hair pigment doesn't actually turn gray, but it rather fades with age from a faded copper to a rosy blonde, then to a nice silvery white. Red hair and blue eyes are the most rare humans on the face of the planet. I am halfway there. What? The most rare ever. Ever. Since both red hair and blue eyes are a recessive trait, only 1% of the world's population has this combination. 100 times more rare than finding a four leaf clover on the first try. Red hair is super rare. Less than 2% of the world's population has red hair. This is approximately 140 million people, which sounds like a lot. That's yeah. like almost half of the United States population, but dispersed around the entire globe, that's like not very many people at all. We're pretty rare. Yeah. They are sweet like honey. Yeah, we are. Sort of. Okay. Uh, several studies have shown that bees are more attracted to redhead. I'm allergic to bees. Wow. Yeah. What a lethal combination. I got stung so many times as a kid. I got stung on the way in. It's really weird. <laughs> Have this like weird. Do not, do not instigate this. I don't even have red hair. Weird. <laughs> Redheads take pain differently. According to the Outcomes Research Institute at the University of Louisville, redheads are more sensitive to thermal pain, but less sensitive to electrical pain. Ooh. And they also require 20% more anesthesia to be sedated. You ready for this one? In Greek mythology, all redheads turn into vampires when they die, I will suck your blood. Because red is such a strong pigment, red hair is much harder to dye. Redheads are more likely to be left-handed. Are I'm, you? I'm a lefty. Because recessive traits often happen in pairs, people who have the gene for red hair most likely also have the gene for left-handedness. Thank you so much for watching. Do you know redheads that have some of these traits? Are you a redhead yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you a possible carrier for the red-headed gene? Mm -hmm. You also wish that you would turn into a vampire? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Jenna, where yeah. can we find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram and Twitter as Ms. Jenna Willis. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week.